up everyone transform fan 58 and today we are going to be transforming masterpiece megatron so we have him right here but before we get anything started we need to clear a big space so just measure about like a one foot radius around the figure make sure nothing is in the way because we're going to be moving a lot of stuff and this guy is a pain to transform so yeah we're going to do that and now we can get started. So I haven't really done it much, so I'm going to be doing what the instruction says. So just try to follow along. So the first thing we are going to be doing is move these out of the way. I'm going to move, so we see these parts right here. We are going to open that up like so on both sides. Then we are going to move these flaps down, like so, just straight, move those all the way to the front, and then you'll have to basically carry them the rest of the time, so, oh, so, first, we're going to fold the feet together, like this, and open up the leg panels both sides and just put everything straight for now and use all that stuff later so just like this then we're going to turn around to the back of the figure we're going to unattach this part put it all the way down I'm going to pull these apart like so then I'm going to flip around to the front again open up both layers actually no just the first layer so that was in there from the other video we'll just take that out for now and then I'm going to open oh, uh, gotta put his head on but real quick so first we are going to open up fully the body by taking this and just detaching the whole body so now everything's open it's kind of like what the whole thing is like so now we're just gonna lay his body there for a second okay so now what we're going to do is so unfold this whole thing uh, we can touch that now. So all we have to do is open up like so on both sides. Now flip this part up all the way up until it attaches right there. So you see. Okay, other side. Same thing, attach there. Now we're going to put these, both of these together. First we will just open up this little wrapper thing right there. And attach, and attach both of these. Together. So there's tabs on all the parts. They should just snap together. So, yeah, it's gonna get messy. So, just hang tight. So now we're going to deal with the arms. So we'll just put that straight for now. And now we're going to deal with the arms. So first, I'm going to turn this over to the tab side facing this way, actually. 
Then I'm gonna pull this arm cover up like so and connect connect it into there like so. Same with the other side. So I'm just gonna turn this no nope, this way. Sorry, it's a little confusing, so just put this into here. So that's what it looks like now. Now we are going to deal with the arms once more. So no, oh, now we are going to turn to this side. So now we are going to fold this all the way down, like so. Just leave it there for now, and fold the arms up all the way. Just turn them around like so. Put them all the way in here, and connect them together. See from so in here, these should just connect. If you the middle together. There's a big tab in there that goes that hole. Just gonna put that together. Turn it around. So you can pause this video if any time if I'm going too fast. So just try to follow along. So I'm gonna put the arms like that. Let's get this over. Move to this side. Then we're going to attach these tabs into into that hole right there. So just line it up and push that little part in there. If you're already thinking this is complicated, there's a lot more. So, just gonna keep that together. Stick the body back together. And. Okay, sorry for the inconvenience. So, then we have to pull this whole nose up. Might have to break it apart first. Pull it up to his face and snap it back together. Then take the top of his head, unhinge that, and it should go down all the way to here. Like so. Now we're going to flip to the back of the mess. And then we are going to attach this piece with these two tabs right there go into those two tabs right there so just keep try to keep the legs straight I'm going to shove the legs in so we see so there's joints right there you just have to kind of push them all the way in like so on both sides. Now you can attach this piece right into the tabs right there. This part is a little challenging, so just try your best. Sorry, but you do have to shove the legs quite away. So there is a tab inside of there. You can't see it. You just have to shove the brown uh, hinge in there as far as it goes. Then we'll take this piece and connect it to here. This tab will go in that hole. So, stick that in there on 
both sides. Okay. So let me get everything into order first, but so this will go into here. These should connect together. Okay, so now that we got the back in, sorry for that, took quite a while. So, there is tabs right um, here that stick into there. Those ones are very hard to, to get in there. You just kind of have to really push them. I mean, the ones right there. You just have to push it down to get them in. But even with pushing down, it's really hard, so... Now we can skip to the front, where we can fix this. So, first we have to connect this big metal piece. So to do that, we have to put this down like so. Okay, so, um, just telling you now, the back part is not going to be pretty. It uh, took me a while to connect that all, so yeah, just be aware of that. So now we're going to move on to the final part, which is basically just connecting all the, just dealing with the wings mostly. So here we're going to just pull out this part, part all the way out, just fold this tab out, and it connects inside of here so we see over here it it connects into a tab so yeah everything takes a while so just be aware of that because it is just a pain. Okay, when you finish that part, it should look like this. Kind of like a biplane, which is really cool. So, like, it does look really, really cool at the end. It's just really hard to transform. I definitely do not recommend it for um, kids under the age of 12. Because, um... It is probably way too complicated for any of them to do. So now we go to see this part right here. We're going to pull that up to the hole right there and put there is a tab on the inside. Just connect it like so. And then we're going to turn around to this side. We see the tabs right the tab right here. The tab right here goes into that this hole. So we'll do that. You have to tilt the wings down a little bit to make it fit in there. Basically, everything is really compact. Um, so, yeah. Okay. Now, we're almost done. So, we'll just leave. Fix this part. So put it up, pull it all the way down. Like so. Okay. So now we can connect the gun in the very back. So here's the gun. We're just going to fold that all the way back up. So then we'll put 
put that together like so and then we are going to put this into let's see I'm going to fit it like this I think so okay so it looks like it one of the tabs goes into that that hole right there so I'm going to shove to shove it kind of far in the in there might have to detach some stuff before you do that but oh, sorry it actually goes in the second hole so move the feet out for a little bit it'll be easier Okay, so that connects into there, like, like so. Okay, so now that we've finished getting that in, we're going to turn around to either side. I don't think it really matters to attach uh, this. So we're going to attach the... Okay, sorry, we're going to attach the this side into, looks like, over, oh, that part came off. So, going to attach it to, okay, now that you can see the other side, actually, this side goes towards the back. So, we're going to connect this tab. Okay, so this, so, this tab goes into the hole right there so we're going to stick that in there okay so after you stick that in there take a look at the underside and oh. okay so this hole right here goes into the tab right there so we're just going to stick that in and voila! Now we have finally finished transforming Masterpiece Megatron. So now we're going to take a look at it. So, see, obviously it looks, at the end it looks very awesome. So, just it takes a long time. So, side view looks pretty good. Side view, okay, back view, see, doesn't look too bad, actually. Thought it would look worse, but, I mean, what can you expect from a masterpiece? So, this side, and overall, it just looks really awesome, and even though it took a while to transform, the end product is what is the best. So, now we're going to take a close-up. The front, very awesome. We see the head part is um, his head covers his face, so that looks cool. And then lots of wiring. I really do like the two shades of metallic silver here. So we see a darker shade in on the sides and a lighter shade in the middle, makes it look more realistic. This part is actually die cast metal, so that also looks super awesome. And we see this part is very cool, metallic silver. We see the two shades again on the other wing. As we move to the back, we see other part. This part also looks very cool. So we're going to take, so we see this way. Lots of metallic silver. So overall, it's just a very awesome masterpiece. I definitely do recommend it, but just know that it will take a little bit to transform it the first couple times. Then you'll probably get it down. So that's it for this video. 
like, subscribe, turn on notifications, all that good stuff. So, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.